this year really shows the value in my in my estimation of why we use a pre-emergence in this case in soybeans so i am standing in a in a, in a field you know, these two rows here right, that i'm standing in the middle of received a pre-emergence herbicide of a prefix at a quart per acre and you compare or contrast that to what we have to the left here uh, which is no pre uh, and even though these are extend soybeans and we can come back with roundup and dicamba and, and do a fairly effective job knocking these down and then probably needing a second application to, to control these these bigger pigweed we're still way ahead of where we would be as if we were trying to do it all post emergence uh, with this new technology the roundup and dicamba technology so here we're in a Liberty Link soybean field that were planted 12 days ago and we don't have a pre-emergence herbicide here. So the Palmer Amaranth uh, wasn't here at planting but it sure is here now. And some of it is as tall as the soybeans. We've got some others out here that's anywhere from, from uh, 6 to 10 inches tall. Uh, with Liberty we got the option now coming out I think this week it's very bright. We're getting some heat. It should be very effective taking out these pigweed. They get much bigger though. You're going to need two applications and you're going to have to be out here very timely. Let's compare and contrast this to where we did use a pre. So we're comparing we're in the Liberty Link soybean system where we didn't use a pre to a, to a location where we did. And this had authority MTZ on it. That's a very popular pre we're using here in, in Tennessee now. And you can see it's been very effective. We've had a lot of rain here, almost five inches uh, since this was sprayed, and it's still holding up pretty good. We are starting to see a few start to break now, which is not a big surprise. There's a couple of very little ones just started. But we're way ahead. It bought us time. We could come out here now in, in another week to 10 days, uh, even longer, and still do a very effective job with one shot of Liberty or glufosinate, where in the in the previous soybeans where we had basically just a lot of pigweed up, we had a spray today and more than likely we're going to have to spray a sequential application another seven days out to get effective uh, pigweed control.